live. There we go. All right. One sec, one sec. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a little Saturday morning arc from the best place in the world to play. This is the Geeks Network, and today we have something really awesome in store for you guys. This is long overdue. We are going to be doing some base tours. There are some amazing builders on the server, and you'll get to see some of their work today. I have either three or four base tours lined up to go, and let me get in the game here and show you guys. Uh, we will be hanging out with um, uh, Mr. Pangea Man, aka Cap, with Dunkington, aka Dunk, and with Jendaya, aka Jen. Uh, and we'll be heading to all three of their bases. We also have Starshine potentially joining us. She's just a little bit late to the game. Um, and we're going to start with um, uh, with Cap's place, which I, I called Pool Party. Do you have a, a proper name for it? Uh, the pool Party was just a, kind of like a little party at group. Um, truth, I don't really have a proper name for it yet. That's fine. Um, that so works for now. But the idea was like a, a little uh, RPG-style place for people to, ha to have a party, basically, right? Yeah, so if I was to put a name on it, probably the Forest, forest Party House or something like that. Forest Party House. Okay, well, when the video goes out, I'll make sure that happens. Uh, Dunk, for you, we are going to be visiting the Valley, um, yes, which, sir. which is like an epic walled-in base and kind of the, the hilly forests above the Riverlands. And All right, guys, now we are at Dunkington's place. Um, been working on this place for a while. I'm going to pull out the GPS to show you exactly where we are in the Ragnarok map. 63.3, 31.5. And if you're watching the replay, this is from a live stream where we toured three or four different bases. Uh, Dunks is second in line. It's called The Valley, um, built up on sort of like the rocky cliffs above the Riverlands area of uh, Ragnarok. I really like this part of the map. Um, and did you have any kind of concept to the place? What, what were you thinking? Obviously, the wall is prominent. We'll, we'll show that off as we go. <laughs> yeah, I kind of just wanted to make a village, have sort of a village feel to the whole build. Okay. I'm gonna... I've never really been, I never built big structures. I never do the mega structures. I've always kind of done sparse, small buildings. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got my gamma up. I should be able to follow you. There we go. I think I start at the front gate or main gate. Wherever you would like us. So obviously, we got to come in via the teleporter, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be great. I can tell already. <laughs> so, I, when I started the build, I always start by building a wall, clearly. Um, and I like my walls to be kind of functional, so you can get up on the wall and walk around the entire perimeter of the base. Um, should, should we get up there for the very first and kind of sh I'll show yeah. off the location a little bit? Um, this is the thing that I used for the thumbnail today, guys, because I like uh, like these walls so much. You can see how it extends up there, cur you know, curves off in the distance, Great Wall of China style. And out there is basically the Riverlands area, the Wyvern Coast, I guess, is a little bit the next, next area down. And then desert is uh, just over those mountains. Um, and then islands and stuff are out, out in that direction, basically. But yeah, man, good good spot. And obviously, you like to build with the environment. This the interior of your build is full of trees and bushes, kind of the same way Cap's place was. Yeah, I I try not to take down anything. I, I totally took out understand. a few rocks and stuff, but I, I tried to build into the... That's how I all, almost always do my builds. It makes such a difference at the end of the process to see it to, to see it like this, where you're you're a part of the forest, basically. Hence the yeah. name, The Valley. I mean... I like it. Um, so yeah, man, take us around. Do we want it... Is there stuff to see all along the walls? Are there parts of the walls we should see, or do you want to dive into the interior? Uh, we can dive into the interior. There's a couple other places to get up on the wall, so... Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll show off how far it goes that way when we get out to the, the far end. I've tried to do something like this before, and I never made a wall that looked quite as good as this. You know, like, building around the terrain and having those little twists and turns in it really... I don't know. Makes it look, makes it look amazing. So I started off... And I wanted this central area to kind of have like a, a marketplace feel. You come in the main gate, you got your stables off to the right. Yep. Then this build is kind of like, you got a sheep farm, plus a couple of stables, like a kennel for my dogs or hyenas. And 
then on the interior is where I do breeding. And I don't have any big dinos, so I didn't really need to make a big breeding facility. Oh yeah, the kennels are great. That's awesome. Right, right. All right, so what, you're mostly breeding uh, horses and, and hyenas and other sheep, Elvis and things like that. Yeah. No, Love I like it. Horse. Pretty cool looking <laughs> roof. Jeez. I'm going to show this building off from the outside. It's got a really good look to it. Got that horse head on the front. <clears throat> and then this is what the, the roof above looks like. Pretty cool looking. It's almost round. I think the triangle foundation, triangle pieces, and S plus make the game so much more fun to build with. Yeah, man. They're game changers. And we're lightening up again, so sunrise is on the way. I keep adjusting my gamma a little bit here and there for you guys. Try and keep it, keep it bright enough. And then if we head off to the left. Ooh, similar similar thing with this building. So you've done a similar two-wide peaked uh, long entrance, and yeah. then it's got a different style of roof. This time wood, and it's two-tiered. Um, I really like the look of this one too. This is my armory. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Got exactly. Feels like it could be a forge in uh, Skyrim or something like that. Yeah. So a lot of this, a few of these buildings are actually kind of inspired by Skyrim building. Okay, okay. Well, my mind went there. This, uh, you know, there's nothing in particular that it reminds me of, but um, there's that Sky Forge up above White Run. I think it was White yeah. Run that that has the views down from it. And I, as soon as we came up here, and I realized this wall was open, that I think that's what what popped Skyrim into my mind. Obviously, I mean, you don't have a flaming pool of lava. <laughs> I wish. I got the training yard down here. Oh, okay. So that's what you were thinking with that is right. it's the, yeah. this is where you come out and test the new steel. Exactly. Oh, leg? Yeah, yeah. A little bit of leg. Yeah, take that. Yeah. All right, now. Beautiful. Oh, and this is for this is for training with your bow. Yeah. These are the this is the the line you stand behind. Beautiful. Sure. Okay, I wasn't sure what that was at first. It makes total sense now. Beautiful. I like these uh these armor stands. I like to use them to hold the actual specific types of armor that they represent. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I'll show people that. They have a good number of storage slots in them. Uh, obviously, what you put in them doesn't change what they look like. Um, it would be cool if you could have these be dyed and stuff like that, like the uh, like the armor. I guess you can't do that even with the farmer, can you? Yeah, you can. You can dye the armor? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep, no, I like the grindstone right next. Uh, this works like a mortar and pestle, for those of you that aren't, aren't curious, and this works exactly like, almost like the industrial forge, more than a regular forge. Yeah, the only thing I don't have here is a fabricator, because it just doesn't fit. Yeah, you'd have to do something like Cap did with his dinos and have a little hidden hideaway hole for it. Stash, yeah. stash it under the floor or something like that, so it doesn't mess up your, your sort of rustic, in antique feel to the place back off to the left again yep got the same idea as cap we've got guest housing okay this kind of reminds me i did some houses that look a little bit like this when i was doing my viking um place just really simple regular wood texture thatch roofs um and it's something like it's it's a really basic combo but we all get so creative with our building we move away from stuff like this sometimes and it really works for medieval feel and all decorated up a little bit on the inside, bedside table, tables, preserving bins. They all have the same uh, layout? Uh, similar. Same items, different layout. Same item. Yeah. Yep, makes total sense, man. Ooh. There's an otter in this one. 
Nice. That, that pineapple bedspread. <laughs> it's the best. What a design. <laughs> oh, that's where you put the kids. All right, and the terrain naturally dips down a little bit here into the gardens. Yeah. So this is just the farm area. Got a little spot for my slugs. Yep. Crops. What's the uh, interior of this building? Just a uh, little farm stuff, storage, yeah, extra this bed. Was, this was like the first building I built in this spot. Right. So I actually stayed in there for about a week before I had started building other stuff. So I haven't actually done anything with it since. Dung beetles in the cages, nice. And then over here you've got your four basic veggie crops, and then over here is berries, yeah? Yeah. All narcos? Uh, it's like six Excuse narcos me. and then two of each of the others. Cool. Oh, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah, I don't see people growing berries all, all that often these days. Good to have around. And you guys can start to see the wall and the extent of the wall. It's going to keep going up that way as we keep exploring the place. Um, but this is the bit. Dips down right around here, which I love, and then goes right back up. Very dynamic. Alright. Just adjusting gamma a little bit. Almost daytime. Beautiful, right behind you. Back around. So I actually hid my S plus item. Right. If that's this little building, there you go. Yeah, that's the only purpose of it. I forgot I was still wearing swimming trunks. <laughs> I, I think I lost my. Oh no. I was going to say, I think I lost my pants. <laughs> the skin was on them. We're good. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, so this thing, guys, I think uh, I don't want to out anybody uh, who's outside the range or anything necessarily, but I just want to show that off. So it shows you this big dome of the range, and that gives you a general idea. Try and keep your place within it, and if you're going to be outside it, confirm it with us. And I'm especially, some people have really difficult terrain to build with. Um, that that I'm I'm kind of forgiving if you have a giant pool of water in the middle of your pl your item collector range or something and you need to go on the outside of it I'm 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 pretty easy going with that. Um, got this little resource uh, market stall. You guys are going to see some of the same things from base to base. The dies. I really like this building, the one to the right of um, uh, what you call it, uh, the item collector. I really like this, this is shape of that. Nice. Yeah, it's my tavern, and this was directly inspired by the White Run Inn. Mm. Uh, my memory is not uh, is not en good enough of that place, but uh... Uh, Yarbasker. Okay. Oh, yeah. The first thing you see when you walk in. Oh, is oh, the the inn. Hall of Companions, that one. No, the uh, the inn. Okay, okay. It, it's really close to the hall. Of yes, 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 yes. No, I got you. They they had always had these on the go in in Skyrim, the little walled in, you know, low fire pit. And if you guys can see, his he's got these fences sunk down, so that the instead of sitting on top of the foundations, they're sitting below. Um, and so you just have this upper railing sticking out, makes a perfect fire pit. The only thing you need is like a pot cooking over top of it. Yeah. And Where does the bonfire come from? Hmm. Uh, furniture for mod. You, you don't you won't see it in the tabs you have to actually type in bonfire but once you do you'll find it interesting Jen I like that you're still being introduced to stuff I figured you would know know it all by now no nope. they're always updating things adding things taking things away yep um, and is there anything to the upstairs or is it just a uh, Oh no, little just a little bit of space up there that feels like yeah. there's uh there could be upper rooms up there. Yeah, the, I couldn't fit anything up there. No, I don't. I'm looking at it now. I realize that it's, it's smaller than it looks. Then you got this grand dining hall, seating for eight, and a big fire, which I'm sure 
I can light two. I don't want to use up all your <laughs> spark powder by leaving this stuff on. Oh, that's good. Um, but yeah, little cook pot here is beautiful. And then continuation of the kitchens along here. And then there's a dedicated kitchen here. Looks like little gardens out the back too. Yeah, with uh, the beer barrels being on one side, I like to think that it's a sustainable brewery. Right, so we right. All our, we grow our own berries. The small crop plots don't get a heck of a lot of use, but this is the perfect place for them. I really like that. And then this side, you said, is beer barrels over here? Oh, back by the bonfire. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right. I walked right by him. I didn't realize what I was looking at. That's sweet. Yeah, this is where you sit around and tell your tell your stories. Taking the arrow in the knee, etc. Yep. No, that's great. And I love the the open hole in the roof. That makes total sense. Let the smoke smoke escape. Keeps the heat in. Um, I think we got. Let me update this so that it's obvious. But I think we got around seventy seven watching now at the moment. Uh, whoops, that's not how I do that. Use your brain. 79.62. There you go. Um, if you guys haven't done it, click the uh, click the like button uh, for these guys. They all put an insane amount of work into their places. Um, I'm excited that we, we're getting to show them off. We're going to be doing this the next several weeks on the channel. Um, or next week, and then the week after, we have some uh, a big event involving all the geeks. And then the week after that, we'll get back to some base tours. It'll be fun. All right, man. Where to now? Uh, now, probably the workshop, I guess. You got it. Um, and There's another way to get up on the wall back behind the tavern. All the fencing around here, by the way, I like. Alright, well, let's just do a little zip up the wall. We'll show people we'll go to the one far end of it. I like this little back and forthy staircase. Little space in the middle, too, is good. Yeah, yeah, I like how you've done that. So it doesn't feel like, you know, it feels like a bunch of interconnected walls rather than a staircase. And then this way, maybe. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh dude, that is so fun running around it. You must must love this. And here we go. Last tower on the wall. And this is the view, guys. So that's that's the direction I pointed out was swamp was islands. You've got the deserty ones, you've got the swamp where I did the, the last building of all series is that that cluster out there. And then all the way out to what blue blue obelisk. We're closest to green, I would think. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually right over this hill. Yep, I can see it now. I just keep pulling out the GPS here and there for people. Um, and what did you have here? Just a little landing pad? Yeah, this is from my griffin, but my griffin disappeared. I wonder uh, I wonder if it got distracted by something and run off. Hopefully, yeah. that's all it is. Um, yeah, I hope so. Yeah. We'll figure it out. I'll find it at some point. And some of the most colorful dinos in the collection over here. Good looking. Yeah, that Pelagornus was just hovering in the woods one, like just randomly. I tamed one like this. Tag on it. Oh, you know what? I bet it was mine originally. I tamed a red one back on Valentine's Day. I took him to the Desert CC and put an adopt me tag, but maybe he somehow got teleported somewhere. Yeah, it was weird. I wonder. The level looks like it's about right. No, imprinted by Jayla. Never mind. That's not mine. Mine would have been a wild team. He always comes up with the best names. Oh, I always have my head off, but... <laughs> okay. Flyza Minnelli, Eric Flapton, Hawk Lesnar. Gotta love that one. And Feather Locklear. I love it. That Pelagornis needs some love. I know. Got, got any punny names for him? <laughs> I, I like when they come to me. Um, he goes to Gaul. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And I uh, I see somebody in chat saying uh, they wish they caught the stream sooner. Really enjoying it. If you do tune into the channel and tomorrow, three, uh, I'm going to split this live stream up into three or four little videos, uh, depending on if Starshine joins us. I don't think I see a message from her, so I, we can we can find her. We can get her next week. And Tonka's She's... in chat, by the way, if he wants to say hi. Hello, Tonka. Starshine still hasn't logged into Discord yet. I've been watching. Cool. Well, and if she doesn't join, we will absolutely reschedule. I'm not going anywhere. Um, like like you said, base tours are going to be a thing until we have shown off that all the amazing things the geeks have done. So, yeah. 
Um, let me let me make sure. It seems like when I alt tab, you guys are seeing what I'm alt tabbing to. So let me make sure I don't have. Yeah, let's fix this. This way, it should the screen should stay locked on arc even when I'm even when I'm getting distracted and looking at uh, Discord and things like that. Um, hopefully that doesn't ruin the video. I'm doing my best. Um, okay, man. Well, oh, you're leading the way. I was gonna say where to. I think you ran down, back down the stairs. Oh, baby. <laughs> I just alphaned in the chipmunks slide. down that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ravager hiding in the bushes there. <laughs> Surprised me. Uh, compliments of Jendaya, actually. Yeah, I saw That's some. my first nano. I saw some. Yeah, nice saddle on him. Uh, your first one after you, you, you rejoined us. She got you that. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Um,. Dunk, you were a part of the, the old Canyon Hunting Lodge, right? Yes, it was. Okay, I should make sure that's uh, that's probably going to be a bit of a pain for me to manage on the fly. But uh, we'll, if you guys Google, let's let's see how easily it works. Let's Google, not Google, type in YouTube, Canyon Hunting Lodge. And let's see if it's an ARC video that comes up or not. Yeah, it is. So if you guys go click on those, mine and Arali's videos are, are right under the advertisement one for Kessler Canyon. Um, but if you go check those out, that's that's an amazing build that uh, Dunk did along with Bayman. Jen, Jen, you helped with that too, right? No. No? no? Right. no. Okay, cool. I moved to the canyon after that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I added the post office after, uh, after it was done. Back back then, Dr. Tao was helping you guys. Uh, yep. A couple other people who, who might, might not be around anymore. Bell. And Bell, right, of course. Um yeah, and then uh, Duncan Bayman left us for a little while. They're both back and both building on the servers now, and this is the result. So fantastic! This might be better than, than the better than the hunting lodge. I like it. <laughs> uh, all your farming dinos, little stable for those. And we have some crazy. I'm sure you got the, some of the better ones. We got some some high level creatures around here. Sigourney Beaver. Okay, right. <laughs> Paula Poundstone. Oliver Stone and Saint Anki. I like it. <laughs> Paula Poundstone is a perfect name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. It gets so hard to come up with names for creatures in this game when you've been playing for three years. Yeah, just reuse them. All right, what do we got up here? Little follow-up workshops. Is, yeah, for this is when I where I do like crafting structures and stuff okay yep this is a good spot to hide the uh the fabricator not visible from the main part of the base uh same thing check out this clever hiding of the uh generator guys yeah i like that completely hidden under a table put a milk bucket on top i don't think it's a milk bucket why would you have a paintbrush with a milk bucket but you get the point it's a paintbrush. Yeah, yeah, I realized that as soon as I saw it had a paintbrush. <laughs> like a dork. I used those buckets to store arrows in. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is like a, a weird spot. It was all terraced, and I, when I initially started building it, I had no idea what I was going to put here. I just started throwing down foundations, and this just kind of came out of it. Um, when you guys, if you guys do watch the Canyon Hunting Lodge video, there's a point where this song plays, and it's my favorite part in the video, just an FYI. Um, it's, it's the point where I realize you guys have some Aaron Longstaff builds around the place, and I, I have a fake freak out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, man. Uh, this bear cart is a it's a eco market decor crafting thing um amazing you can't ride it not a real bear but it looks so good the only problem with it is that he moves around inside his saddle and you can see he's separate from his saddle a little bit but you can paint the bear right right on yes i forgot about that he looks good in brown though uh, i don't do a lot of painting I haven't got, I don't have the eye for it, I don't think. I think this place looks really good. Like, part of the appeal of this place is the natural colors. I kind of had that going with, um, 
with my Viking uh, area that I built on Building Evolved back in the day was was I, did, I avoided paint at almost all costs. I had little, couple little flags with red and green, or sorry, yellow and green on them, but just vanilla stone, vanilla thatch, vanilla wood, all unpainted. They all just work together if you do it right. Yeah. You have the yeah. right combinations of them. You know, you break up your big stone wall with enough little buildings like this. You know, it works, man. Um, what do we have here? Have we looked in this one? No, this is... Kitchen? Uh, sort of? Yeah, essentially a kitchen. Well, all these it's guys, kinda... I, I should mention, everybody's building this in survival. So everybody's grinding. Everybody needs places for crafting and building. So there will be buildings, you know, that aren't just role, you know, role play buildings. There's stuff that is a utility that you need to actually get stuff done, right? Yeah. Um, and yeah, if you're going to build build this much, you got to, yeah, you got to give yourself... Just means, we have, just means we have form and function. Exactly. Um, I really like this gateway. It's hard to do a, a good, interesting-looking gateway with uh, uh, with this stone. And I'm just gonna tweak. Hold on a second here, guys. There we go. Just playing with volumes, trying to get everybody to sound the same. Never good. Never easy. Um, but yeah, when you're when you're building in a walled place, it sort of um, it limits you from going too crazy basically right when you i don't know if you started with walls but it lets yeah. you know where your borders are and and then you just start looking around going okay what do i need where do i need a building you know that sort of a thing yeah exactly um looks like uh, some stuff we haven't been to off this way yep this is my house it's actually the last building okay Beautiful. Another interesting shape, guys. This is a little bit different than all the other buildings we've seen. It's a wall and a half high. Um, pillars come not quite to the top, which I like. And then you have this additional two high uh, structure to the side here. Wood roofs. Come on in. Ooh, chandelier is awesome. And then this, this is, is kind of the oh, first place oh. I actually started to decorate. Like, I spent time decorating. I don't have a lot of experience with the eco mods. No, they so take I practice. Like, I'm I'm still yeah. not good with them. Um, I really like the sunken living room, man. I think that's so cool. It's a full wall high, uh, in here still somehow, or is it a wall and a half? What do we got? It's well, a wall. A, well, wall and a bit. Wall and a bit because I sunk the foundations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like this. Just enough headroom. I didn't know what I was walking into down there. And then you've got this spiral, zoop, 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 bedroom up top, a little hidden, a little otter, and then two otters. And then you got Star. the writing desk. Uh, Star just popped on. She's gonna come into chat in just a minute. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, she hasn't missed anything. We are, we're barely even halfway through the tours. There's a new toilet, too. Let me, let me have a look. Yeah, they updated an eco mod with new toilets. Oh, that matches the bathtub. Um, this bathroom's a little crowded to get all you guys in here. I must be hungry. Hold on a sec. Um, bad. You shouldn't be eating in the bathroom. That's disgusting. But they added this hot tub thing a while back. Um, it works. It's really ridiculous the way it works. You just <laughs> go straight as an arrow. But then they've added a toilet to match. You can totally see the style matches. I'll get out of here now and let anyone peek in there who wants to take a look. But um, I love it. A little feather light up here tablecloths um, and then these little shelves had a ton of detail with that uh, without having to you don't have to place all these boxes individually they come pre-packed with the boxes and jars um, and then yeah simple little kitchen pots and pans hanging herbs to dry you've got water through a candle on there um, and then uh, a little cooking station and a fridge fantastic man All right, should we head up on the, the wall? I know you got uh, creatures up here still. Oh yeah. That's just a place for my wyverns. Yes, they're so big. They need a they need a spot. Uh, you have one of each type. Yeah. Well, no ice wyvern. Right, right. Whatever they're called. I want right. this poison. Yeah, that's a, is that an Easter poison? Is that how those crazy I colors came about? So. 
came, yeah, I think so. It was in the, uh, we did a giga party. It was one of the hatches from that. Yes, yeah. The most recent one, I was there for one of yeah. them. Yeah. I got, uh, I got to level, I'm almost there. I got to level 104 and a half. I'm still a little bit of a ways from 105, which is my max. I've only done Gamma, Gamma Rockwell. Yeah, look at those. It looks like he's wearing lipstick. That is insane looking. <laughs> That's wild. All right, man. So, Here you go yeah, yeah. All the way around the base, along the wall. Okay, well, let's. Uh, I wanted to make sure that that was a possibility. Yeah. And you can still move around these wyverns for the most part. Oh. Although it gets a little, little tight in here. Woo. Thank you. Um, we've seen all the main, main buildings. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, let's find a good spot to do a little outro for, for Dunk's place, and then we will go move on to Jendaya's. Um, let's go find an amazing looking view. I'll head up to the other far end of the wall. I never quite made it out there. I just pointed out how far it went. I'll go up above the wyverns up here. We'll look out over the riverlands. And uh, if you're watching this video, at the end of it, I'll put up a link to the Canyon Hunting Lodge, as well as to a couple of the other base tours we're doing today. Uh, to Caps and to Jens, which is going to be next. And um, and yeah, man, Dunk, thank you for... Well, one, thank you for coming back to the Geeks and building such amazing stuff, but thank you for the tour. Thank you. Yeah, I am so, so happy to show it off. All right, for those of you guys watching the stream, we are absolutely going to be continuing. For those of you watching the replay, that does it for this video. That's the end of a song. So let me hit pause on the music. I will say thank you for watching. Click on the, the links that are popping up on your screen and click on the Patreon logo if you want to become a patron and join these guys. They're all helping me live my dream. It's amazing. Um, and I have some amazing content to show off thanks to these guys. Uh, so that does it for this video. The stream will continue.